Good morning everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. This morning I am in my cut flower garden. I wanted to work in here because I sowed a couple, you guys can see down there, I sowed a couple flats of seeds for my fall seed succession sowing or round of sowing for my cut flower garden and they are so ready to get out into the garden. They are totally unhappy um, being inside under the grow light. So I feel like I gotta get them out here. However, I feel like I don't have a lot of room. I have that um, that kids book stuck in my head, chicka chicka boom boom, will there be enough room? <laughs> I keep kind of saying that to myself, which is just so funny. I just don't know if there'll be enough room. So some of the things I definitely want to get out um, into the garden is broom, mixed broom corn. Um, and so I got mixed broom corn from Johnny Seeds and I really want to use it for like uh, Halloween, fall Halloween decorations. Um, I always buy bundles of corn stalks from like the pumpkin patches that we go to. But I um, last year I grew a couple stalks of corn myself and it was really fun to decorate with those. And this year I wanted to grow some more myself. So I really want to do that. This is so embarrassing. We have a toilet. <laughs> that's a box a toilet box so construction is still going on um, it's actually perfect because um, he's inside and I'm outside and he's so fantastic he is the best contractor we could have possibly asked for um, but yeah toilet right behind me ignore it um, so yeah so I definitely want to get the broom corn in and then I have some pro cut plums that are like not happy at all and I you usually want to direct sow sunflowers and I know this but you know I I wasn't ready to put them out into the cut flower garden yet so I did um uh, sow some of them indoors and they're not happy and they I'm, I'm gonna put them out here and then maybe in two weeks I'll sow some more I'll do another succession of those um, and then what else do I have let, let me show you guys what I have in the flats okay so here's the pro cut plums you can see they're not happy and they want some water right now here's the mixed broom corn which I actually did two sections god they don't these don't look happy either I did two sections in each so I'll just kind of break them apart and so I'll have 12 of them um, and then these are teddy bear sunflowers that are actually looking really good. And then over here, I have some Benary Giant purple zinnias, Benary Giant orange zinnias, some Pampas Plume Celosia that look really good, Indian Summer Rudbeckia, Red Spike Amaranth, and then Cinnamon Basil. So I don't know if I'm going to have enough room to get all of these guys in, but I'm going to try. And even if I do just a couple of each of them, I think I'll be fine with that. Um, let me show you guys here. So I have this, let me move out of the way. I have this whole section right here. See this whole section right here that has nothing. This is a Sonora Zinnia that um, reseeded itself. I have so many things that reseeded itself from my last year garden. Um, this is Coral Fountains Amaranth that reseeded itself, which I'm actually really happy about because I wanted some more of those. Um, so yeah, so I have this whole section right here that I can fill in. I have... This whole section right here, I know it looks like it's in shade, but it's it's pretty early morning. And um, you can see it's about, the sun is about coming over the crepe myrtle tree. Um, so this will, you know, this is all full sun. So this is a good spot. And then over here is a good spot. Um, and then I think what I'm gonna do, this is my Mrs. Burns lemon basil that I have been obsessed with. This smells so good and it's just the perfect filler. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the cinnamon basil right next to it. And I have this mountain snow euphorbia. That's fine. I mean, it's a good filler. It's really pretty, but these are like single cuts, right? They won't grow back once you cut them. So um, I've kind of been like hoarding them so I could use them, you know, just in specific arrangements whereas the mrs burns uh lemon basil i've been using a ton of it and it looks like i haven't even cut on it at all so i think i'll put the cinnamon basil kind of around here and once it grows up i'll just take out the euphorbia um yeah so and then the um prairie sun rudbeckia is about done i you know once i cut back all the the faded flowers. I don't think I'll have much left. I don't know. I mean, it's just been a workhorse this whole time. So I'm going to kind of trim that back, cut that back and then see how much room I have. And I might, um, 
dot in the Indian Summer Rudbeckia, which looks very similar. It's just more of a fall type color for the Rudbeckia. And then here are my dahlias, and I've already cut one of the lifestyle ones. The other ones haven't bloomed yet, but they should be coming really soon. And they are looking good, really good. So it's so funny, this year my cut flower garden, I kind of mixed all the flowers together and I didn't do specific rows like I did last year. And it's looking like it's it's gorgeous, it's looking beautiful, but it's very jumbled and kind of a big, I don't know, like a mess kind of, which I think is, is beautiful, but I do think next year I'm gonna go back to the lines because my brain, I just feel like I can keep it straight and I can like keep it a lot more organized and everything like that, because right now, I kind of don't know what's what <laughs> and I'm just kind of sticking things in wherever they fit or anything like that. So it was fun to do it this way. I did like it this way. I think that if I'm going to do it this way again, I need some like structure, like some barriers so that I know, okay, this is one section. This is one section because right now I'm just, I'm just planting whatever, wherever, whenever. <laughs> There's no rhyme or reason to it, which is fine as well. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay everything out, see if I can get everything in, in fit in as much as possible, and then I'll go ahead and plant them. I am going to use Sure Start, um, EB Stone Starter Fertilizer Sure Start. I like using that in my cut flower garden. I think it really helps the roots get all the nutrients they need, and then they can thrive. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to get started with that. everyone I think I am done I lost about an hour of footage because my phone overheated and I didn't notice it <laughs> so I'm totally bummed out so let's see what so I planted the rest of that cinnamon basil um, and then I watered it in and then I planted I took out some of the green zinnias that I have I made a teeny little bouquet um, and then I uh, planted three of the orange zinnia plants because I really want the zinnias to grow by the time it's like Halloween or uh, fall or anything like that. And I thought orange Baneri giant zinnias would be so, so pretty. So I'm bummed that I lost that footage. My phone has been in the freezer for the last 20 minutes. So if it starts fogging up, then that's why. Um, but I think it's a good sign for me to stop. It's triple digits right now. And um, the you, you know when it's getting too hot because the street gets really quiet. Normally we have a lot of walkers and bikers and, you know, people out and about and kids playing. And when it's really hot, it gets silent. And it's kind of nice, but it's also kind of eerie. And that's usually a sign I need to go inside. I need to go inside and cool down and chill out and come back in the evening or even tomorrow morning. So let me show you guys what I did real, real quickly. 
Okay, so this is all I ended up with. I planted most of my cinnamon basil, most of my red spike amaranth. I still have my Indian summer rudbeckia that I'm just gonna keep under my grow lights for a while. They, they can still grow a little bit more than that. Um, and then I got three of the orange zinnias in, and then I still have these binary purples that I just didn't have room for at this time. So starting from the beginning, actually I have notes about the days to maturity time just so I can tell you guys so this is where I planted all of that broom corn that mixed broom corn and like I said I'm going to use it for decoration it's not for eating it's just purely for decoration and it's an 85 to 110 days to maturity so this will be ready about the second week of October so perfect timing then I just mixed in some of the pro cut plums like one there one there one over there. Those are a little faster, 50 to 60 days. And so they'll be ready. These will be ready first week of September. But my plan is, is to keep adding direct seeding some so that I can keep having them ready. So hopefully they'll be, they'll be a uh, round or a succession ready when the mixed broom corn is ready and like the orange binary uh, zinnias and different things like that. So here is where I fit in the three uh, binary giant zinnias right there. I did pull out one of the green lime green zinnias just because I think I overplanted these. They're not like, um, like a centerpiece plant for, for bouquets. They're kind of just, um, it's good for the background. You see that this is, I just, these are just ones I cut. I need to fix this okay to make it a little bit cuter but you can see that the lime green ones are kind of just for the background so I thought I could take some of those out and put some of the orange zinnias in and I thought that that would be pretty um let's see here's my celosia my pampas plume celosia and you can see they're different colors so like here's a red one or what I'm assuming is a red one here's what I'm assuming is a yellow one I think there's some orange in here as well and this is a 90 to 95 day so this will be ready about the second week of October as well so you can kind of see a theme that you know basically last week of September and then all through October I'll have some really pretty fall stuff which I'm super excited about and then these pretty red ones you can see all dotted through there that's red spike amaranth it's 65 to 70 75 days that'll be mid-september but i know amaranth and i know it can kind of sit there for a while um, so i think that that will be ready around october as well and then all through here i just dotted the cinnamon basil right next to the mrs burns lemon basil and i have to say planting right next to the mrs burns i would like rub against it my, my arm would rub against it and i'd get this beautiful smell of lemon and it was so wonderful and i kind of want to plant this stuff all throughout the garden wouldn't that be nice to have like a like a sensory garden when i went and visited um uh Park Winters. Park Winters, I have a, uh, actually I visited him twice and did two videos on him. He does scent, sensories throughout his garden. So as you, as you go through, you can just kind of grab a little piece of something and then smell it, rub it in your fingers and smell it as you walk through and tour the garden. So I was thinking maybe I could do something with this because I'm just loving this. So let's see, I didn't, like I said, I didn't get to the Rudbeckia. I just left that there. Yeah. And that's pretty much it for today. Um, so I'm glad. I got a lot of stuff in, you know, going back to my chicka chicka boom boom. No, there wasn't enough room, but I kind of had a feeling there wouldn't be enough room. Um, but I did get a ton of stuff in and I haven't even started looking in the other parts of my garden. I'm sure I can squeeze a couple plants in here or there. Um, so overall, it's looking really great and I'm really happy with it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video of my cut flower garden. Um, I had such big plans to be super organized this year. I had a uh, Google Sheets and, you know, dates that I was going to follow and all that kind of stuff. And of course, Mother Nature has other ideas and different plans. And so I'm kind of just going based on, you know, when the plants are ready, when I need to use the flowers, what's, what's doing really well in my garden. You know, something that I've definitely learned this year is that you just, you cannot control Mother Nature too much. So I had these grand plans of like specific days where I was going to come out, pull the plants, put new plants in, they would be ready by this specific day. And it just, it just hasn't really worked out that way. So it's kind of a jumbled mess, but I don't really mind. I totally, I'm fine with that. I enjoy it. It's kind of fun to come out here and see like, oh, what can I fit here? And what can I fit there? And I just have to accept that I need to sow seeds. And that doesn't mean that I need to put 
all of them out into the garden. I just need to have them for just in case I have a blank spot. So I think what I need to do now, I have basically an empty um, seed starting station inside. So I need to start sowing some more seeds and thinking about what I need to do next. I cannot believe I am on my summer fall sowing like for fall flowers. I cannot believe we're there already in the season. This has gone by so fast. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.